Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to chapter two, lesson one of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. In this lesson, there are four activities, but we are going to be skipping activity two. So let's get started. So in our previous chapter, we learned about how the animals aren't growing and thriving because there aren't enough plants in the project area. Now, let's focus on what's happening with the Cercopia trees. Natural Resources Rescue received our first rainforest restoration plans and sent us new data about the current condition of the rainforest. The new data includes photographs of the project area and a healthy rainforest for us to compare. So we have our images from the Costa Rican Rainforest Restoration Project Report. On our left side, we have our project area and on the right side, we have an image of a healthy rainforest. On the left in our project area, I notice a lot of brown, it's a lot of dirt, very little green. Trees seem to be fallen or cut down in that picture and it doesn't look much like a rainforest. On the right in our healthy rainforest image, I see a lot of green, a lot of leaves, a lot of trees, and some big clouds rolling in. So now what I want you to do is to compare and contrast the project area with the healthy rainforest. What do you notice? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question. The researchers from Natural Resources Rescue collected this data. They measure trees in a healthy part of the rainforest and in the project area. So if we look at it, it says data about cercopia trees. We have our number of tr cercopia trees, average height of the trees, and average width of the leaves. We have it in our project area and in our healthy rainforest. So if we look at our project area, we have 188 cercopia trees. They are four meters in height or 13 feet, and they have an average width of 0.1 meters or 0.3 feet in their leaves. The healthy rainforest has 596 cercopia trees. The average height of the tree is 12 meters or 40 feet, and the average width of the leaves is 0.3 meters or one foot. So now question two, what ideas do you have about this data? Again, to answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet, a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video to do this now. Looking at our natural resources rescue, it's we have a project goal for the restoration of the project area. This was sent by the Natural Resources Rescue, and it says, restore this section of the Costa Rican rainforest ecosystem and improve its health. Your tasks are to number one, investigate why the cercopia trees aren't growing and thriving in the project area, and two, create a rainforest restoration plan. You're going to write an argument about why the cercopia trees aren't growing and thriving, and you're going to suggest an action step to restore the rainforest. So these are our goals for this chapter. What we are going to be focusing on for chapter two is this question. Why aren't the cercopia trees growing and thriving? This is a question we want to be able to answer once we are all done with chapter two. So we are not trying to answer this yet. This is a question we're keeping in mind until the end of chapter two. Since activity three is a simulation, we are going to do this in the next video.